drive from Interstate 81 going through wonderful Luzerne County and Wilkesbury and Bear Creek and places like that that you probably don't even know of because more than likely you're not from the area. It's a wonderful Friday afternoon drive time edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. Everyone, I'm here to rant and bitch and moan. La 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 la. Anyhow. Alright, my rant today is fuck social media. That's right. Fuck social media. Social media has gotten just so bad lately. Like, just terrible. I mean, terrible. I mean, between all the fake news and all that other crap that goes on that we keep hearing about, and, and the ads and everything else, and this one bought ads, and that one bought ads, and the Russians bought ads, and, and the Martians bought ads, and, uh, and, and, and someone up in heaven bought ads. It, it, it's crazy. It's subliminal messages in the ads. You know, using your information. God, I do love the using your information part. Let's use your information so we can tailor all the specifics to tailor all the junk ads that we're going to load onto your social media. Because we don't get enough junk mail in the regular mail or in our email. We also have to put it on social media as well. And market shit that you don't want or probably can't afford. Of course, social media advertising is also another great way to discover what your significant other does online. For example, all of a sudden, because there's ads for so many things out there and it's funny. You're on Twitter or Facebook or something like that, Snapchat or something. No, and I don't think I don't remember if Snapchat does that, but you're on Facebook or Twitter or something like that. And, you know, all of a sudden here it comes out for you know big black cock. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> for some big vibrator or something, a uh, dildo or hyper on a dildo. I don't know, something like that comes, pops up. And, uh, and you're like, what the hell is this? Well, it's because somebody was looking at like www.squadonthis.com and Facebook picked up on it and is tailoring an ad because they think that you like that stuff. But seriously, that that's how this stuff works. It's crazy how it's got it. it can you see me better like that? Probably. It's crazy how this stuff has got advertising and that. But here's another thing about social media that, that drives me crazy, too. People hide behind social media. Now, you might want to call YouTube social media, but it really isn't because on YouTube, I can do a video, you can see me, I'm actually talking about something. If I say I'm hitting myself in the head with a cat that I just ran over and I'm doing it, well then you know it must be true. Well, however, there are some untrue things on YouTube. I guess my kids say, my one poor kid just thinks that because it's on YouTube, it must be true. So there is some false things. But for the most part, a lot of the stuff on YouTube is somewhat true or believable. So I wouldn't classify them entirely as it. And you're not hiding behind it because people can see who the hell you are. So they can hunt you down, stalk you, tie you up, tar and feather you, and then throw you on the side of the road because they disagreed with something that you're disagreeing about. With that being said, back to social media. it's dark again. Back to social media. Uh, well, here's another thing about it. People like hiding behind social media. Now, now, I may text it, like, I may message stuff that's on my mind and stuff like that, but I 
have no problem with you meeting up with me, and I will discuss the same exact thing to your face, because that's how I am. But then you have other yam bags, other people who are walking dildos with ears, things like that, who hide behind social media. They're just big Mr. Macho and everything else, and tell you off, and screw you, and do this, and do that, and go kill yourself, and everything else, because they're hiding behind that screen. So it is. They're hiding behind that screen. There. They don't have the guts to actually tell it to you to your face, even when you challenge them to. They don't have the guts to. They don't have the balls to. Basically. And it's aggravating. You want to tell somebody off, do it the old-fashioned way. Meet up with them, tell them off, so they can pound you into the fucking ground. The way it was meant to be done. This shit of hiding behind social media and blah, 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 and I hate you and go kill yourself and go fuck yourself and uh, drop dead and uh, the, uh, we can't stand you and, uh, you know, things like that is ridiculous when you're saying it online. There's real no actual meaning to it whatsoever. Now, kind words online may have some meaning, because you usually don't fake something like that. Like, you usually don't tell somebody, unless you're certain people, you don't tell certain, you don't tell people that you love them or care about them, but then when you're around them, shit all over them. Now, while there are some people in this world that are like that, because they're just yeah bags. Or as I said, walking penises, walking dildos with ears, or penises with ears, take your pick. Because some of them are breathing and some of them aren't. But, for the most part, social media distorts everything. A lot of people say a lot of things. A lot of people have fake names and profiles and everything, or other identities and stuff online. Which is wonderful, I guess. I don't know. Be bipolar. I don't know. But don't be bipolar around me, damn it. Anyway. Stop hiding behind social media. You got something to say, say it to the person's face. Be like me. I'm always willing to say something to the person's face. Be it negative, be it positive, be it, be it encouragement, be it criticism. I always have that option out there that I'm willing to tell you to your face. Why? Because I've got a set of coyotes. Don't be a chicken shit and act like you have balls when you really don't. It's so easy to type things out online and make it sound like you're Mr. Macho Shit and I should be scared of you. Bullshit! Meet me face to face. Then we take care of it. But that's how it is. And I'm sure many of you have been in that situation as well where people just say something to you. Look at this stuff with school bullying and stuff. All this online bullying bullshit. You know what online bullying is? It's a bunch of freaking pansy asses who, who don't have the balls to say it to the person's face. Now, while the stuff may be mean, and I'm not saying, you know, it's still proper for you to say it to their face and bully them, but if you're going to do something like that, just tell the person in person. Because you know what? You're doing it online. You're just as much of a freaking pansy ass. And not only that, you stupid moron, you did it online. Really? 
how much meaning can there possibly be if you're bullying someone online? I would be like, whoo, are you gonna jump through the screen at me? Really? Just like people that act like pansies about stuff. When it comes to, they don't wanna talk to people anymore and they're done with people. Unfriend them then. I like that. I love the fact that some people are just quick to block you. Really? You know what that says to me? That says to me, you're a pansy ass who doesn't want to deal with me directly and just wants to pretend that I don't exist. But guess what? I exist. And there is a coexistence. Until the day one of us drops dead and is in the ground, then there is a living coexistence out there. Blocking doesn't take care of shit. Blocking, in some cases, can piss the shit out of the other person. It sort of goes along with online bullying and stalking. People online. Just unfriend them. Depending on the social media you use and how you do it, the person can send you a message that you'll never see. It'll show up in a message request. You'll see who it's from. If you want to open it, you open it. But it's not like regular messenger, for example, where your friends the messages just pop up. A lot safer. And meanwhile, the weirdo on the other end has no idea that you're not paying attention to their messages, that you're not even seeing them. Or you're looking at them at your own leisure because you have to go into that folder. But when you turn around and block the other person, well then when you're dealing with like, say I'm the maniac stalking killer, might get upset when he's blocked and track you down. How did he track you down? Because when he wasn't unblocked, he discovered through pictures and everything approximately where you hang out. But that's, that's basically what it comes down to, people. Like, just common freaking sense when it comes to that shit. And the whole blocking thing. I can see if someone's spamming the shit out of you. But if you unfriend them, they ain't never gonna see any of your shit anyway. Unless you are dumb enough to keep your profile as public. You have some yam bags out there that still have all their settings as public, so everybody sees everything. At least set it to like friends only. Then, excuse me, only people that you want to have see the stuff will be able to see the stuff. Or, depending on the social media and your settings. Well, no, actually, the wacko wouldn't be able to see your stuff. I don't believe. But they may still be able to write you. But if you totally, like, do that whole blocking thing, or basically just dump them as a friend or things like that, they're going to notice when that stupid number goes down. And who knows how they'll react. There's plenty of movies made about stuff like that. Anyhow. So when it comes down to social media, it's all fucked up. It's no longer fun in games. It really isn't. There's so much work that you have to put into your post, it isn't funny. Because if your post isn't creative enough, your friends are just going to skip over it. Unbelievable. Anyhow, I'm losing my voice. I'm Frank the Lunatic. I approve this message. Comment below. Click the subscribe box. And that, my friends, is all I have to say about that.